Recently, we have seen an influx of CLI tools designed to significantly enhance every aspect of software development workflows. These tools are now being infused with Agentic AI directly within your terminal that's capable of automating your coding tasks as well as making real-time changes across your code base. We've seen these exciting developments with Warp's Agent CLI, you have the Google Open Source Gemini CLI, and the most well-known one, which is Cloud Code, arguably the best AI coding agent currently available within the terminal. But here's the catch. Most of these CLI tools are notoriously difficult to work with. They lack proper GUIs, they lack streamlined agent creation tool sets, session management features, and customization options, making them inaccessible for many developers. That's why I'm excited to showcase Claudia, a new trending open source GUI app and a toolkit built specifically to enhance Cloud Code. Now you may wonder, what is Claudia? Well, Claudia is an open source desktop application built with Tari2 that completely transforms how you interact with Cloud Code. It offers a beautiful intuitive GUI that allows you to create custom agents effortlessly. You can manage interactive Cloud Code sessions, meaning you can have multi-agent uh, workflows working simultaneously. You can run secure background agents, track your usage, and so much more. Think of Claudia as your mission control for Cloud Code. It bridges the gap between the raw command line experience to the visual interface, making AI assistant software development more accessible, customizable, and productive than ever before. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis, so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. And just an FYI for the people who do not know what Cloud Code is, it is a new tool that was just recently released by Anthropic, and essentially it's an AI-powered coding agent that automates tasks, searches large code bases instantly, and streamlines development directly within your terminal. And now with Claudia, it is a GUI app and a toolkit for Cloud Code that is going to enhance this overall terminal based AI coding agent even further. And this GUI toolkit definitely has a lot of features. You have the visual project session management where you can easily browse, search, and resume all your Cloud Code projects and sessions with full context and smart insights. There's different agents that you can create, custom agents with specialized tool sets as well as different plugins. You have MCPs, an analytics dashboard, and a lot more, all while being open source. Now that we have gotten all that out of the way, let's showcase how you can set this up. First things first is making sure you have the prerequisites. Make sure you have Cloud Code CLI installed. You need to make sure you install this after you have Node.js 18 plus, and you can simply run this within your terminal. Now, remember guys, this is something that you're gonna be building from the source, and this is where you're gonna be first running these required tools to set it all up, and then you can have it so that you can then build it by cloning the repo and then installing the front end and then building the application. All this I'm gonna showcase, and you can run this on whatever operating system you have over here like Windows 10 or 11, Mac OS uh, 11 plus, or uh, Linux Ubuntu 20.04 and above. You need to also make sure you have a minimum amount of RAM, which is four gigabytes, but it is recommended that you have 8 GB and for storage, at least have one gigabyte of free space. So once you have all these prerequisites and system requirements fulfilled, we can get started. Make sure you first have Rust installed and this is where you need to make sure you have 1.70 or later installed. And you can simply do this by opening up your command prompt and pasting in the command to install Rust. Next, you need to have bun installed. And once you have that installed, just make sure you have git installed. And you can simply do so by running the sudo apt install command if you're on Ubuntu. And they also showcase how you can install it for Mac OS as well as Windows. And essentially, once you have all of these different prerequisites and required tools, installed we can then move forward cloud code as i mentioned at the start is important and make sure it's available within your path and there's platform specific dependencies that you'll need if you're on uh, linux make sure you have the following mac os you have the following and if you're on windows make sure you have microsoft c plus plus as well as installing webview 2. 
Now, all of this seems overwhelming, but once you have fulfilled all this, you can then copy the git clone uh, command and simply open up your terminal and paste this in and clone the Claudia repo. Once that is done, head over into the repository with the cd Claudia command. And once you are within the directory, you can then build the front end dependencies using the bun install command. So simply paste this in and this will start installing it. Then you can build the application. So simply go ahead and this is obviously for development with hot reload. So you can copy this one for production builds. You can obviously follow through with the following. Now just simply go ahead and paste this in and it's going to use the tari build command to set this all up. And afterwards, it will automatically open up as its own standalone GUI app. You can also access it on the web through your local host. And essentially, this is how you can easily start off. You are going to be then welcomed with the Claudia dashboard where you can build custom agents or you can easily get started with the directory. If you click on this, you can add in a new cloud session and get started right away. Or you can start off by creating your custom agents. This is where you can manage your cloud code agents. You can also manage the running sessions that are currently working, but it's super simple. You can click on create a new custom agent, give it a name. You can select the agent icon, whatever you would like, and then you can select the model of your choice. So you can either use cloud for Sonnet or the cloud for Opus. Once that is done, you can give it a default task. This is optional and a couple of different sandbox permissions system prompt and once that is configured you can then deploy it and use it for whatever use case on the top right you will have this usage dashboard which will showcase the total cost total sessions that you have the total amount of tokens the average cost per session and it will give you a good breakdown for all the, these different metrics when you're using cloud code so this way you can easily track all your expenses you also have it so that you can manage the cloud md different MCP servers, and this is where you can easily configure different servers. You can add servers directly within this GUI, and this is something that will let you easily set up all these different things right within a singular stop. You can also have it so that you can import whatever uh, servers that you already created through different JSON files. You can also configure things within the settings tabs, like the permissions, the environments, as well as couple of advanced settings but overall once you have set all this up you can then deploy this within a new odd code session now the reason why i'm getting all these errors is because i'm on windows right now and cloud code is not available on windows you can have it accessible through wsl but this is where i do not have it currently in this current session but just take a look at the gui in action in this case you can request it to create a blog cms and you can see that this is a pretty nice looking GUI, this user interface that will help you build anything and work with cloud code a bit easier than ever before. In this case, you can see all the different actions it takes, the different tools it uses, even MCPs, all the diff edits, and it's easier to manage. Whereas with the previous cloud code, you saw that it's pretty blocky. There is not a lot of customization and it doesn't have the ability to actually use multiple agents simultaneously. Whereas in this case, you can uh, use the usage dashboard to manage different metrics and run multiple agents simultaneously, which is awesome. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content plus a lot more. But that's basically it guys. There's a huge demand for cloud code and I thought that this video would definitely help a lot of you guys out in terms of the people who use it as this is a GUI app and a toolkit that will help you in a lot of ways. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value out of it. I'll leave all these links in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the second channel, join the newsletter, join our discord. Follow me on Twitter. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.